You're You're listening listening to the More Life Podcast. More Life Podcast. More Life. More Life. This is... This is the More Life Podcast. (laughs) Hi, guys. I am here um, on the Gold Coast, and I'm picking up a friend and driving back to Brisbane, so I thought we could record a little podcast in the car. I've just pulled up, and she's on her way. Oh, hey! Sorry, I'm late. No, that's all good. Welcome to the car. Thank you it's so a special much. episode of More Life. It's actually super chill, you guys. <laughs> um, it sounds like we're doing the most, but we're actually just going to be chilling. But this is kind of like a snippet of like the chill version of me. There's no plants. There's no big cameras and lights. We're just driving. She said chill version. Yeah, actually, okay. here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think my More Life is the chillest version of yeah, the Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Oh, you have your sunnies on. I thought I we were trying well, to go um, full face, but that's fine. No, the only reason I have sunnies is because I need to see. <laughs> They're prescription sunnies. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you can't see his red flags. Exactly. Now, I actually have a problem with red flags. Because mm. I see them. I know they're there, yeah? But... It feels like a carnival when I see the flags. You know what I mean? Six flags over Texas vibes. You're not in Brazil, okay? <laughs> Brazil. In Ibiza. <laughs> um, what's your biggest red flags for people? Like, what's one thing that you see and you're like, nah, I'm out? Um, I don't feel like I have a whole heat, but, like, if I see you smoking, like, I'm not mm. the girl for you. Because my lungs, <laughs> they're lungs ready take it. under pressure. <laughs> what Anyone? about vaping? No, same thing. Yeah. How can you tell me vaping's better? Sorry, I don't know the um, (laughs) science of it. First of all, I have have an APA reference. (laughs) I don't have a systematic review yet, but it can't be good putting stuff into your lungs that ain't air. Mm. What are your deal breakers though? I'm curious. They don't want kids. True love. Um, they don't want to be a millionaire and support my life of leisure. You know, I feel like that's where people say I'm materialistic because <laughs> I'm like, hey, look, you ain't got to be a billionaire or nothing. No. But we got to have the same financial goals. You know what I mean? And what's your financial goal? Money. <gasps> on money. On money. <laughs> you should have. No broke. <laughs> I know. If you ain't got your money, get your <laughs> I know. I just, I want to be able to walk into like a car sales place and not think about how much I have in my bank account. Wow. Like, I want to be now able that to, is like, levels. jump onto the plane and be like, yeah, take me wherever. And wow. I want to be able to support my kids to fly them out anytime they want to be flew out. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm definitely joking. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of like, you know, that's like but you the elite. It. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, <laughs> I respect it. I do. I just know realistically, like, traveling and things like that is such a luxury that mm. we're trying to kind of turned into a norm <gasps> that's so fascinating because i do feel like it's a thing like everyone's like oh yeah tra- like i'm traveling and i'm traveling now yeah yes, but but think about it going to the airport getting on an airplane mm-hmm. paying for your holiday and coming back and forth that's that's different kind of money yeah exactly especially if you like come from a big family would you consider Meaning your family like, yeah. a big family yeah i always say my family's a big family oh. we have a family of six people um, yeah, I always consider us to be like, yeah, a big family. Because, like, if we anywhere we travel, like, if you think about it, like, you something that could be car. like, oh, yeah, it's yeah. just like 500 for the trip, and then you multiply that by all of us. Oh. Damn, that is a lot of money. We're wow. driving, by the way, and Gugu um, has many talents, but I would say driving is something that she can improve on. <gasps> for sure. I have literally, I brag about being the best driver I know. No, you can't be saying that. I feel like, no, you think you're the best thing. driver. You I drive super safely as well. Whereas, like, you, with your driving, you're very confident with it. But, like, you're kind of just like, and I'm like, you know what I mean? No, I just. Like, you're very confident with your driving. But it's like, if you're too confident, your passengers are like. You need a left sorry. lane. <laughs> See, stuff like this, where I'm like. Uh, well, I'll get there, yeah. You, it's literally right there. And last time, do you remember how you, you had to cut across like, two lanes? Like 100 meters to go. Okay, <laughs> but you weren't even changing. Um, definitely in new places, though. I'm like, I need to focus my GPS. Actually, I have a problem with 
um, my like I always use my GPS, so now I barely know where to go without my GPS. So I'll admit that. I'll admit that. Okay. <laughs> Rusty, I feel like you'll sit behind a car that's going 80 and 100 to, for what reason? For some time to learn. Yeah, exactly. And that's just wasting your time. Here's my thing. My time management is so good that I don't have to worry about a few extra minutes. Oh! Some of y'all <laughs> leaving things last minute. Yeah, okay. I do leave things last minute. <laughs> but it always old. works at- the way you were excited about this tunnel coming here. Oh my goodness. I don't think, I have very weird things that I'm obsessed with. Tunnels are one of them. Like I used to, even when I was younger, um, my brother and I would do this thing where when we get towards the tunnel, we'd be like, oh, it's almost night time. And then we'd try to sleep for as long as we can in the tunnel. Like we'd literally just close our eyes and then try to catch the right moment the tunnel ends so we open our eyes. And I'm still like, I'm just like I obviously don't sleep while driving, but I'm still obsessed with tunnels. <laughs> no, that's weird. Oh, okay, fine. What do you like? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think? I'm just gonna air my laundry out here for these random people on the internet. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> I have an unhealthy obsession with Twilight. I feel. Mm, actually, you do. I feel like one of the weird things you like is those kind of movies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where I'm like, That's terrible. Because like a lot of people are like, oh, they're just trashy movies. But you're like, no, I actually really like this. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like them because they're trashy. Yeah. I don't know about that. And same with like um, keeping up with the. Kardashians. I don't watch it. Okay, but the fact that you're obsessed with it, I was like, I wouldn't say I was obsessed. I was just curious. But you and know everything about episodes. them now, don't you? I feel like every time I brought them up, you're like, no, actually, that was when this happened, and this person's this. Oh um, really? Okay, maybe you're right. I feel like in terms of my levels of obsession, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have said that that's that's what I've been really obsessed with. I think I was just like curious about their lives and like. Wow, they really do a lot. And then I was kind of like, okay, I moved on. I feel like I do um, find a lot of people like watching them because it's like this lifestyle that they don't have. Yeah. That you enjoy see. Exactly. Like imagine having people just come to your house, do your makeup, mm-hmm. bring a whole wardrobe, and you go, I want to wear that one. And then they alter it to your body, and then you go out and people you know, take photos of you. And then, I mean, no, sorry, there's. I'm sure there's more to their life, but like. <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw a post this morning actually that was talking about how like this girl's like it's actually okay to have a normal job, and it's okay to have a regular car, and it's okay to have like and so on and so forth. Right. Um, to which I was like, look, well, that's your business. <laughs> like, if you want to be average, like keep me out of that. Um, but don't you feel like? Don't you feel like there is this thing where everyone's. Not everyone, because I know a lot of people that still want to be very, like, down to earth. Minimalist. But everyone's sort of looking at the IG lifestyle. What's next? And they're like, oh, yeah. yes, I want that. Do you think everyone can get it, though? Uh, no, because it's the system's not built for everyone to have it. Mm. But I think that goes back to what I said earlier, that whole life of luxury that we're trying to make it normal. Like, yeah, it's not normal for everyone to have a Porsche. But, yeah, exactly. Or Land Rover or whatever car, but we're all just Ranger. like, Range Rover. <laughs> but we all just have this oh not all of us but like you know we have this mentality that's like yeah that's that's gonna happen to me that's gonna be my life and it's mm. like but the fact that you have a car is a privilege you know yeah, for sure. like just take that whatever car it is as long as it gets you from A to B mm-hmm. like that's what's important same as a phone as long as you can make phone calls and text and do all the things you need to do like that's a privilege yeah. not something that's like I need to have the latest model because Apple be taking our money for no reason. Facts. Um, but also, I love you, Apple, if you want to send me anything. If you want to sponsor us. I'll say yes. We could add a little shot on iPhone at the end of <laughs> <Yeah>. this Yeah. <video. laughs> this episode is proudly sponsored by... No, don't say, because they'll actually take our money. Oh, oh sorry. They'll actually want to have a brand deal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait. You don't is want that? Is that what you want to mani- yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> manipulate them into <laughs> <We're> like... <laughs> have you seen... All I'm saying is... If it's free, I'm there. Yeah. Have you seen, you know, thank you water? And yeah. Like, thank you stuff? Yeah. Oh, actually, no, you were there. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. The story yeah. of how they did it. If you don't know, they essentially flew these billboards at, like, was it Woolworths? And Coles, like, yeah. head offices. And there were billboards that said, thank you for saving the world, if you accept our offer. Yeah. And that's how they, like, manipulated them into having a, like, a, a deal. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I feel like. The lavish lifestyle, it's, it's quite fascinating how in different places 
even in my life and in my circles, some people actually don't want that. Mm. Like, um, they pride themselves on wanting to live very humbly. Yeah, I don't know. I just find it fascinating because I feel like in certain areas that I've grown up in, it's the complete opposite. Yeah. I don't know. We all just have different things we deem as success. So, mm. for people, success is, you know, having people in their life that they love and living bare minimum and others it's having the white picket vent house mm. do you have a dream house in your head the one that i have bought and i can live in Aww. yeah damn you're very humble mm, i mean obviously that's just like my starter house but then mm. we move into the two houses on one property with a connecting bridge um, wait who's in the other house one of my friends <laughs> <laughs> You get sick of me. <laughs> <laughs> you get so tired of me. No. <laughs> you know, I used to want to live with my whole family all on one block of land, and then you have like each house. All the houses, yeah, no, like I get around that. Other. I always thought that me and my brothers would move out together, just mm-hmm. into a different house. Aww. And then they didn't share that same sentiment, right? I feel like it's whack when you like have this idea. Actually, siblings is the whole concept of it because you grow up together, do everything together. And then now you're just supposed to live separate lives. Yeah, no, it's whack. And it's different as well when we, like, because we really get along with our siblings. Mm. But the idea of people not getting along with their siblings I is know, really sad. It's so sad. Like, like, who do you talk to? Yeah. Like, who knows your parents better than your siblings? Well, it's more like you share the same womb. Like, how do you not... Share like, the same what, womb. What? <laughs> your co... <laughs> your co... co- I don't know. But like the fact that you would get to a point where it's like, yeah, you know, especially the people that are like have no contact with their siblings, like it's mm. just sad. Obviously, like there's just, generally yeah. a reason for it, but yeah. But yeah, I don't know. TT and me. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised they ain't sick of me because <laughs> <laughs> they've really been supporting me these last Aww, few years. I can imagine. <laughs> You're their baby sister, though. I know. She's cute. I feel like I have the opposite dynamic. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe like, my brothers could be sick of me for a different reason, though, because I'm like. Their mother. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think I'm like that, but no. maybe they would perceive me as that. I had, so I was away, I've been away for like almost two weeks. Um, and I was in the kitchen, and my young, sorry, second youngest brother um, walked in. He like startled. He was like, oh, oh my goodness. He's like, oh, you've been gone for so long. I just forgot I had a sister. <gasps> Boy! But wait, my heart. I was like, oh. <laughs> One week and he forgot about you. Know, That's right? scary. That's scary. Oh man. <laughs> I like I like having younger siblings though because they say so many funny things. Your kids like, are ruthless. <laughs> I love it. If Even you want an honest opinion, mm-hmm. you just go to a kid. And and they'll that. be like, Why does your hair look like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what, what you're gonna wear? <laughs> yeah, literally. Why don't you have kids yet? The <laughs> fact that they tell you about their family's business though. Yeah. Whack. Such like um volunteering at kids church because they'd always just like say something like yeah sure, you know yeah you're like <laughs> thank you so much yeah Judah. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh man okay who would be your dream like sponsor partnership uh, like for the podcast for example yeah sure i feel like it would be cool mm, here's the thing I, I wonder if a spotify exclusive would be cool enough Ooh, because I I know um, one of the podcasts I listened to quite early on in their career, um, Spotify asked them to be exclusive with them, which was really cool. But does it close you off? Mm. I don't know. Um, But it just seems cool to be like, yeah, Spotify and I are like the best. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Who else? I'm thinking like media related stuff. Yeah, okay. Maybe like. Maybe something like, not Apple, but like a tech company that would do like a lot of the like production stuff. Right. Like yeah. Rode or something like that? Oh, Yeah. What about you? Um, well, the way things are set up, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I see the way things <laughs> yeah. are set up. I, I see the way things are set up. <laughs> Today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get cancelled, okay? I'm excited. I've never been to Harbour Town before. I just, why? Why have I never been Yeah. I honestly, I feel like I don't go out much. 
Yeah. And it's weird because people, I, I, every time I see people, they're like, oh, you're always doing the most. Like, you're always doing something different. Like, where are you going this time? But I, I genuinely feel like I don't go anywhere. <laughs> well, there's a lot I haven't seen. Yeah. In my little like, life. <laughs> where would you want to travel to next in Australia? In Australia? Mm. Um, I am really feeling the Northern Territory right Ooh, now. Oh, yep. Like, a lot of those, like, the gorges and um, gorgeous. the national parks. Gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> um, the national parks with, like, super clear bodies of water. Yeah. Like, that sort of vibe. Why did you say body like that? Ah, body, body, yaddy, yaddy. <laughs> but I didn't. It just came out. <laughs> <up. laughs> um, yeah, I, I really like the idea of the Northern Territory. But there's also something really spiritual about the Northern let me explain. Mm, Let me explain. Okay. Um, there's this series. I completely mm-hmm. forgot what it's called, but it's like a series of um, female athletes around the world. Um, uh, I'll have to find it sometime. But it just basically just follows them around. So they'll be like marathon runners or um, rock climbers, like just that sort of thing. And it does like a documentary about them. Mm. And the one I saw was about a cliff diver um, who, and like from part of the documentary, she went to Northern Territory territory and she was doing cliff diving there um mm. and the indigenous people there welcomed her with like a like a ceremony of some sort and like even sitting in the theater like I felt the goosebumps there was like just something about it and like they were explaining the history of the place everything like that I was like damn this is powerful like that place just seems really cool and I was like yeah I'm going I'll cool. see y'all there <laughs> um how about you where would you travel to no I really want to go to Uluru next oh yes yeah have you been. oh you've never been I've never been mm-hmm. And I think it's important to know about the place that you live and their Facts. culture and, you know, honoring the traditional landowners. Yeah. Um, and I just think it would be a really good time. Mm. And I had, like, a proper email address when I was, like, super young. What was the it? Same email. Oh. I don't know if I want people emailing okay, me. Okay, yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> like, no one's going to email me, but, you know, they just might. in case. You they just might. never know me. Because there's some stalkers out there on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> No, I haven't. But I literally Do you want one? No. Okay, I was just checking. <laughs> I literally just watched an anime about well, it wasn't about this, but it transitioned to this main character. He had this full stalker mm-hmm. and that's why he had to move across the spoiler. I'm not gonna say the name. Because yeah. then it might ruin it for people. But it was just like the weirdest concept of like I guess we always think of guys being stalkers. Mm-hmm. But I was like flipping it the other way and having the female being the stalker. Yeah. Um, like an older female being a stalker of a high school kid. Oh. Like, yeah, it was For some reason, like, in my head, I was like, oh, younger female stalker. That no, makes sense. Like, yeah. You know the, like, um, stan culture? Yeah. Oh, where, like, like Harry Styles super fans and, like, yeah. that sort of thing. I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. But no. older female being a stalker of a high school kid, that's creepy. Uh, yeah. Um, no, I don't have a stalker. I mean, I guess there's people out there that contact me more than I think is appropriate for a relationship. Yeah mostly that we don't have a relationship and you're a stranger on the internet mm. um, but I, there's no one that I'm like you know be concerned, concerned about and be like oh I can't post this because they'll pull up yeah. kind of thing have you ever? no but I feel like um, I'm very cautious around I don't want to say weird people but there's some people that are just weird where I'm like oh I wouldn't want you to know my address okay. have you had those attractions? oh yeah yeah. yeah I'm like the fact that you have my Instagram is good too yeah, there's some people like that where I'm like, oh, I hate when you found me. Well, I, I think that's the whole thing about being safe on the internet. Mm-hmm. Um, it's about just keeping private information private and sharing what's appropriate. And like, you know, if worst case scenario happened, are you happy with the information that you post- posted? Like, you wouldn't be regretful to yeah. be like, oh, I shouldn't have posted this. I don't know. I feel like that's why those, um, like the Instagram families and YouTuber families, you have to be super cautious. Oh. I wonder if they like even pay for more security or something because they share so much of their kids' lives. Yeah. I know a lot of them don't share the schools mm. and they try to hide the uniforms and that sort of thing, but well, it seems very scary. People are very perceptive. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, if someone wanted to find you, yeah, they could. That's what's scary. That's weird. <laughs> so I you think I'm weird. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, I should do. <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> I speak Sonic like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think weird's cool. 
don't know. I don't think that's a, a certain type of weird where I'm like, like I can't get too much for me. Yeah. <laughs> Can you give me an example? Ah, uh, we always have, you know how there's always a weird kid at school? Yeah. Yeah. Like when I was in the US, that was weird kids that we love. But you had to be like, I was always super friendly because I was like, if there's a shoe in one of these dicks, oh. I'm going to be on their side. Like, I don't care what anyone says, I'm strategic. And I still, I remember their names. I'm not going to say them because they're weird enough that I'm worried they're still watching me oh. to this day. <laughs> um, if you're listening to this, cool. <laughs> I still, still on your side. I'll support you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did wow. think it was very weird how you'd follow me around the school the entire day, but it's cool. Mm. But the question is, do you what like tip, yourself? On the tip of our speed limit camera ahead. Do you like yourself? See, here's my thing, yeah. I feel like every time there's something that I can improve on. Of course. Like I always, I but always that's... have something that I'm like, no, I need to work on this. I'm going to improve on this. But why does that stop? It doesn't mean like I don't yourself. like myself. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I feel like my space in life right now is the most happy with myself I've ever been. Aww. Which is always got to stay this way. <laughs> <laughs> but that still means that there's stuff I'm looking forward to or wanting to change. Yeah. Um, one doesn't have to negate the other. Like. You can be committed to self-development while still loving yourself. Mm -hmm. I think that's healthy. I think I told you last time as well that even with life goals, I'm like, I, I'm i glad I have a house, for example, but I still know this is what I want. Or, and I'm glad I have this job, but this is also what I want. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean that you don't, um, you're don't, you not grateful for what you have, but just because you're looking for upgrade. <laughs> I was like, there's like, no way. Like, you got me a little USB. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new thing. I keep doing it. I know. I, I love it, though. Ahead. No, I just can't see my waist movement. <laughs> what waist? I know. Can't no, see stop head. that. <laughs> <laughs> what exercise do you do in the gym? Me? Yeah. Ew. The waist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to help you. I your... just drink green tea. No, you're one of those people. I have a skincare routine. I just drink lots of water. Stop it. No, but genuinely, green tea. And, like, I was telling someone about it, and they're like, nah, I've drunk green tea. It doesn't work. But for some reason, every time I drink green tea, it's like my waist just goes dry. <laughs> this is an health no. advice, by the way. Don't do that. <laughs> don't. Don't no. sue me. <laughs> Because I just I don't see how those two will correlate. I don't know, but, but it's and that's just how it's always worked for me. If that works for you, that works for you. <laughs> I just have some questions, is all. But I know you what can't else? give me the answer. No, I think I just genetics maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe definitely. Like I used to, I used to hit my little Russian twists, little legless bicycles. Oh, but I don't do that anymore. Well, it must be nice. I should. I will. Hey, don't do it for me. Minor. Yes, I am a minor. <laughs> this is literally this year. I was trying to get but yeah. still. <laughs> I love how you pick and choose when you're... A minor. Yeah, a minor or not. Because <laughs> so I was like, no, I'm grown. Yeah, I'm, literally. I'm a big girl now. <laughs> and then other stuff I'm like, you're like I don't deserve this. Sir, I'm a child. You know, that's how I felt with... Um, you know those people that stop you in the middle of the shopping centers and ask oh, to yeah. their people? Oh, yeah. Back in the day, because like, I'd be like, oh, I'm actually like 18 or whatever. And they'd let me go, but now I have no excuse. You ain't still use that line? No, I, like, so you want me to lie to them? Uh, no. My, I can't. So now I just have to sit and be like, I'm so sorry, I already sponsored other people. <laughs> you do, <Myself>. though, right? <laughs> <Sponsor> me. <laughs> so that's okay when you sponsor lie like that. Funds. You can lie like that, but I am if... other people. <laughs> like I'm someone that they don't have on their sponsor list. Okay. So, you know what the most whack interaction I've had with one of those? What? I like it was like a world vision type thing. And this lady turned to me, she's like, Yeah, and you would know as a refugee what it's like. I was like, I'm actually not, but I hate the fact that you would I oh, it was very odd. Uh, I was like, oh, I wanna go home. That is an ick. I know. I I hate that with the passion. Yeah. Because I feel like that happens to all of us. How are you going to assume that I'm a refugee? And then why are you going to say it like that? Like it's a bad thing. Exactly, yeah. I'm living my life in the country that I'm living in. And that's none of your business how I got here, okay? Thanks. But you can sponsor me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'll take your money. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, don't Pride. go left here. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, she said I've been here. Yeah. 
I mean, wait a minute. You've been here before. I think I have. I was surprised. I see, but here, here's the thing. It's not because I actually wanted to be here. It's because I was going. Where was I going? Someone's house who lives like somewhere here, and I was Ooh, driving. And I really needed house. a toilet. You know, we were back yeah. set up, and so I had to stop, go to the toilet, and then be going. Around. Oh, I didn't stop here before yeah. you got to their house. Yeah. Because uh-huh. I didn't know them. It was a stranger. So I was like, I'm just going to go to the house, man. Come in, please. That's what a bathroom is for. You know that, right? People don't no, find it weird. you can't just turn out to people's houses just to pee. You were there for a reason, weren't you? Yeah, but it wasn't to be. A human? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, you said it's not to pee. Yeah, I went to the house, but I didn't get the house to pee. So well, no one goes to someone's house to pee. Yeah, I don't. But well, it happens. It looks like that if you're rushing, and the first thing you say is, "Can I go?" But you drove here from Brisbane. Yeah. The, I don't care. They're I'm not, not doing it. They're not thinking about it that deep. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> we can go in here. Okay. One of the questions they asked was, "What are your top three favorite fruits?" I thought, what a weird conversation to have. <laughs> but then it got me thinking. It would get me thinking too. You know. Mango number one for me oh really I would say yes to mango but my problem is thank you even though I didn't give you a choice because I'm flooded with money <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say mango but um, I don't like how stringy it is yeah but that's only some mangoes mm. not every mango is stringy huh I'm pretty sure it's the and don't quote me on this like the Kensington one yeah, you even know they're varieties. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's Bowen, there's mm-hmm. Kensington, there's other ones. I feel like I don't like food enough to even know what it is. No, you don't. Like. And I we talked wait. about this. I just wait for whatever's on my plate, bruh. This is okay, crazy. this is something that I have to remind myself of with Gugu because it doesn't matter what meal we have, to her, it's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> and. My <Well>, cat's good. <laughs> <laughs> it drives me crazy because how can you say. KFC is a 10 out of 10 and then we go to a nice restaurant and you say that's a 10 out of 10 too when there are different games. That's the thing about gratitude. <laughs> oh. <gasps> yep, that is a car park. Okay. There's also one a bit close to there too. Right, no, that's just me. That's okay. <sighs> okay. I can't believe <laughs> you're literally the athlete and every time we go anywhere you're like, can we just park closer? Why do you have to walk that far? <laughs> because I'm a sprinter. Why do people think I want to do long distance stuff? <laughs> I am good for 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> My race. <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, no, my race <laughs> goes for 11 to 12 seconds. I'm hoping 10 one day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've arrived. Uh, thanks for driving with me. Anytime. Bye, everyone. More love and more life to thanks you. Thanks for tuning into our snippet carpool edition of a more life. See ya.